morning, ladies and gentlemen. This is Melvin Williams coming to you again with another video. Again, I am at the site, construction site of the future home of Praise Cathedral Church of God in Christ. Just came out to do a few videos, take a few pictures to uh, document the progress that has been made thus far on the rebuilding of our sanctuary. I am right now taking a shot of the entrance of the sanctuary, going into the church. Uh, again, Elder Emanuel Walford Sr. is with me, and we're going to take some shots inside, hopefully if we have enough light. Presently, ladies and gentlemen, I am on the uh, northwest side of the uh, structure, and uh, as you can see, a lot of the siding has been placed on the structure at this time. And it kind of gives us a better perspective of exactly how the building is going to look. Ready to go. Hello, Saints. What you're looking at now is going to be the main entryway into the Praise Cathedral Church of God in Christ. And behind me, you see the uh, actual portico share and the storefront entrances. We're standing in what will be the paved parking lot. Our parking will have 300 spaces that go all the way around the church. And under that portico share, two large uh, buses can fit at one time, loading and unloading people, going into the main entrance. And right up next to, right up next to the church, you'll see the, uh, the outside of the fellowship hall, so that from this entrance, you can go into the fellowship hall directly, or you can make that right go into the, into the main lobby of the church. And now we're going to go around where you can see where we picked the stone, and you'll see where the ephus is being, or that's the outside wall, is being prepared for the actual final coat of the stucco paint. Okay. I'm back, Saints. Now we're standing at the southeast uh, side of the Praise Cathedral. You'll see where the gentleman is actually applying the ephus, that's the outside wall of the church, on top of that yellow bench glass, and then a uh, sound resistant and, and hardening foam for the outside. And now he's applying the stucco, and that's going to have the color of the church on it. That's not the color, but the color that the team has selected will go on top of that, and the texture is what's going to go on there. Then if you look down to the bottom, you'll see where it's uh, that black water resistant finish has been put on to the outside. That bottom has been taped. And then over to the right, you'll see a patch of bricks, uh, block rather, stone. That's the color of the stone that we're going to have on our church. So you're looking at the stone right there. That's a temporary wall that was just put up for color selection for the ephus. Uh, that's gonna be taken down. That wall is gonna be finished. And then the stone is going to go around the bottom, all the way around the bottom of the church. And then of course, uh, the color on the ephus, the outside. You'll notice that we've got gutters all the way around the church. And what you're looking at is the outside of the office area to the garage area. So those two windows on the end are actually inside of the pastor's office. Those windows are actually inside of the pastor's office. We're on the inside of the structure at this time, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, Ella Walford is gonna give us a rundown, if you will, of uh, the work that's being done and where, uh, what is actually going on. Got a walk with Right now, as you be looking at the pulpit from the inside of the sanctuary, we're actually standing in the pulpit, just inside the door. Over here, you see where it's framed for the stairs and the, uh, and the seats going up into the balcony area. That's framed, ready for concrete pour now and that will go up over a room, storage area, into the balcony area, and go all the way around. And of course, that will be framed out there, and then come down 
on this side and you're looking at the inside of the sanctuary and all of that all of that silver metal going up are the metal studs this is not a wooden building this is a total metal building inside and each one of these studs has been put up 16 inches on center uh, to go up and support the wall of the church in the middle is the sound booth inside the church and not under the balcony so that the, the sound engineer can hear exactly what's going on inside of the church. Over in that corner where the gentleman is, is on that lift, what you have there is the, uh, the audiovisual booth. The windows are up high so that those in the audiovisual booth will be able to see and monitor the camera angles and, and all of our cameras are HD, monitor what's going on inside the church and make sure that the proper pictures are being taken inside the church. And that's in our video uh, ministry. So not only will you be able to come and enjoy, you'll be able to support the church and take our services home in full HD color on our DVDs. This is Melvin Williams uh, back with you again, ladies and gentlemen. I'm on the inside of the structure at this time. I'm standing in the sound booth area, and I just want to do a quick panoramic view of the area. What you see on your uh, screen right now is where the balcony begins. This is where uh, individuals will be able to access the, ba the balcony. Their seats will be here and stairs going up. As I move around, this is the pulpit area and the choir stand area. And this is actually the front of the church. And I'm going to go up and let you get a view of how things are going to be looking. Still some steel girders uh, in place, obviously not finished. But I just wanted to give you a panoramic view of the inside of the structure. On this side is another uh, area where the uh, balcony begins and goes up all still under construction. At this present time, ladies and gentlemen, I am on the outside of the structure, and I just want to take a couple of shots and give you a few angles of how the church is, is looking from this particular side of the uh, area. I'm on the rear of the area. Uh, that's the uh, administrative uh, area. Where the classrooms are going to be. And this is just the back of the uh, structure. I'm still on the outside of the structure, ladies and gentlemen. I just want to get it. This is on the almost in the front of the structure, but off to the west side. Just want to get a couple of shots out here. Most of the exterior of the structure, uh, as you can see has been covered with uh, insulation, soon to be uh, placed, uh, siding placed on the sides. Still on the uh, west side, ladies and gentlemen, I'm across the street, uh, just to try to get a, a better perspective of the various angles of the structure. This particular shot, ladies and gentlemen, is directly in front of the facility. I'm out on Ben Singleman Road at this time, across the street from the structure. This is a shot, ladies and gentlemen, of the uh, bus barn, which will be capable of, ha of holding the large bus that the church has and any other large vehicles. This is the bus barn. At this time, ladies and gentlemen, I'm on the east side of the facility. Just want to give you a shot of uh, how it looks from this angle. There's a lot of activity out here today. And uh, on the inside, when L.O. Offred and I were on the inside, it's, it's so much construction going on and 
uh, a lot of the rooms, you, you can't really tell what is what. So I just want to give you a shot to let you see that there is quite a bit of activity and that there has been a lot of progress made since my last video. I'm getting ready to close this video down, ladies and gentlemen. And as you can see, I have some distinguished visitors with me. Ella Warford, Brother Hemfield, Brother Brad Williams, and Deacon Murphy Robinson. They came by. It's been a beehive of activity. It's been a beehive of activity, ladies and gentlemen. I'm having some pro problems with my phone right now, so bear with me. But anyway, uh, hopefully this will be an informative video for you. And Ella Warford is going to close this video down for us. We're so excited that, uh, that uh, Brother Williams is doing this for us. We appreciate him documenting our progress. As you can see, um, the skeleton is just about complete. The conduit is being run. The HVAC is just about complete. We're just about outside of uh, the time where we can have natural light because we're putting up temporary lights inside. Everything is about to be closed down. And shortly we're gonna have our inspection from the city to make sure that the roughing in for the electrical has been done right and we're going to finish up with our inspection of the steel building that should be done next week and then we're going to you're going to start seeing rooms actually come to life because we're going to start putting up the uh, the sheetrock we're excited we're just months away from moving in we thank all of you for your prayers we especially thank you for your prayers that have been undergirded by your financial support we thank you for your attendance everything that you're doing and we're excited and looking forward to the time when we have our series of opening events and we're looking forward to seeing your face in this place joining us giving praise to God in the praise of the Church of God in Christ. God bless you. Thank you so much, Ella Walford. Gentlemen, uh, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to close this video down at this time. This is volume nine in a series of videos that I'm doing to show the progress of our church. Thank you.